Hello, my name is Mohamed Torbati. I'm an associate professor in the mechatronics research group in mechanical engineering department. And I also used to be a sort of senior consulting engineer within the university doing uh, consultancy work for industrial collaborators. At the heart of my invention is a self-reversing screw that has been protected by two patents. It's a screw and nut assembly that takes a linear uh, oscillatory motion uh, that can be anything like a motion of a car going over a bumped surface. And then it translates that linear motion into continuous rotational motion. With my invention, the screw will rotate continuously in the same direction, regardless of the direction of the motion of the nut. And you can directly couple the screw to the generator without losing any of the input energy that you want to harvest. This invention is a game changer, mainly because of its simplicity. It's a screw and a nut that you've re redefined its function. It's compact, it's the same size as a uh, screw and a nut. And with the interest that everybody has in, in renewable energy, in sustainable energy, in creating a greener environment, it increases the efficiency of energy harvesting. The reason that my invention is so different than other existing, other competing designs is that it's simple, it's uh, easy to manufacture, it's adaptable to different sizes of applications. Depending on manufacturing capabilities, it can be applied to small scale uh, energy harvesting devices or large scale devices, and it does not inflict additional space, additional components to your, uh, to your product. It's just a screw and a nut assembly. This can, can be really the, in the heart of any future mechanical energy harvester that wants to go from translational to rotational energy. There's basically nothing else out there that does the same. The areas that can benefit from it include automotive and rail industry. An example for this is, is a car suspension where uh, the car moves over a bumpy surface and you want to obviously reduce that, that motion and shock absorbers are used. By using conventional shock absorber, you waste all that energy that you dampen. With this regenerative shock absorber, you dampen that energy, but you harvest that and, and uh, convert that to electrical energy. So with my invention, you can have energy harvesting within a shock absorber in both directions of the motion of the car. You want to make sure that by changing your shock absorber, you do not change the ride comfort of the vehicle. You do not change the drivability and controllability of your vehicle. And with this one, there's no extra components that will do that. In addition to that, you have, as I said, the rail industry. Other areas are marine. The ocean environment is a place where you have free mechanical energy available and, and it's there to be harvested and this device can be used in uh, existing wave harvesters. The other applications for this device are general energy harvesting situations where this, the host system is huge and by adding this component, energy harvesting component does not affect the dynamics. It's like having a fly on an elephant. In construction and in, in, in bridges and in buildings, you can find this device to dampen the uh, motion of these uh, constructions, but at the same time, harvest energy. In order to take my invention forward, is to find uh, commercial collaborators, companies who either have an existing product, uh, which does energy harvesting and is screw-based, and also companies that think can see a potential in this uh, invention and work with us to, to carry out further research in order to refine uh, the design, in order to characterize it. With their support, we can do field studies and, and take the product to the next TRL level. Because at the moment we have done lab tests and, and we've done simulations, but we need to do uh, more field testing. And, and through that kind of research and support that we get from industrial partners, then it will be much more ready for commercialization. If this sounds interesting to you and you're interested in uh, working with me to develop an idea, please feel free to contact me 
and I'm open to all sorts of avenues that, that one can take. As I said, in terms of research, uh, producing an end product or replacing an, an existing product, I would be happy to hear from you.